is as you're walking, you hear, "Hey, hey, who are you?" From down the hallway. Um, fire extinguisher. <laughs> you're not. Hit, you're in an open hallway, sight right now. Is all check I'm saying. The fire extinguisher from a hallway. Uh, yeah, Corinne, I see your hand. <laughs> no, no, no. I would, I'm just like wait, like. You're waving. What's up? Welcome to the Indigo League, where trainers grow and bond with their Pokemon to become the very best and prove themselves unbeatable. We are unbeatable, we'll train until we meet our goal. If stakes are high, no, we won't fall because we are unbeatable. Actually, here, we'll do this. Welcome to the world of Pokemon, previously on Pokemon Unbeatable. The Ocean <laughs> Breeding Facility, uh, the OBF, is a facility that the Blue Rockets have that seems that it is capable of being a Pokemon breeding facility for aquatic type Pokemon. And you can see right there, emergency release override. There's a button on your screen that will release the Electivire that is currently held in the generator. As you hit the button for the emergency release, all the lights go dark and you hear in the very distance, Electivire! After releasing an Electivire into the belly of the blue rocket base, you each find yourselves on low light, uh, two of you in a lab, and Gavin, you find yourself with Vermilion, who has, at this point, shaken awake with the sound. Well, I hope that's not a problem. What happened? How long was I out? Not long. They went to go and cause some trouble, and now there are alarms. Uh, and I can hear a really big Pokemon somewhere. There's a big, there's a big Pokemon. And as they like say that, you hear Electivire echoing throughout the hallways. Yeah, so um, we're just gonna hunker down here, okay? And we're gonna, no, we, should, gonna be fine. we should go find them. What are you talking about? They haven't gone far. They're like a couple of rooms away. That means it's even bigger reason to go to them if they're close. Right, yeah, but you're still all kinds of fucked up, okay? Then you go to them. I'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay, that, I'll go that's to the what... exit. The door's still open. Where's the uh? It's, uh can I look around the corner? Are they coming back? Uh, <laughs> looking, doing that thing where you peeking back out the door. Uh, I'll go ahead and cut over to the other room real quick. The two of you are still standing over the laptop. Corinne, having just hit the space bar, releasing the electivire and causing the generator to click off. Um, what are the two of you doing? I am going to look around at the rest of the lab um, because I know based on the map, the exit out is the door's propped open, correct? Yeah, it's got several oh. cables running um, through that little door out into all of the outlets and different like power mains that are in that maintenance area. Those wires down connected to this like half assembled black machine um, that's still within the lab. Uh, can, I, can I check that machine out? Yeah, um, go ahead and real quick at a glance, because you guys are, like, the emergency lights are flashing and everything. Go ahead and roll a technology check. Dice tower, don't fail me. Ooh, okay. Um, so that's uh, 11 plus my badge, so 12. 12, 12 is very good. Um, let's see here. So you give this a quick glance, and earlier you had kind of looked it over, and nothing had really connected in your brain as to what this machine might be. But now that you have this like sense of adrenaline pumping through you, it, the sounds of a massive Pokemon released out into the facility are really a good motivator to get your brain and muscles moving. Yeah. Uh, and in that moment, you glance over and you connect the dots, uh, kind of like a half moon capsule chamber, large metal arms that almost look like pry bars. This looks like a mandatory release machine, a machine that would bust open a Pokeball and release the Pokemon inside permanently destroying the Pokeball that was previously attached to it. This is used by Pokemon thieves and poachers to um, remove the Pokeballs that a Pokemon might previously be in, uh, where they'll quickly then tranquilize the Pokemon and recapture it in a different machine. Oftentimes because trade machines need to be used by actual league members. Regulation. It's very hard for them to get their hands on them. Does the machine, is it like charging? Her? No, it's half assembled at this point in time. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, 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 can I break it more? Uh, yeah, you think a couple <laughs> well-placed kicks could definitely break I'm gonna it. Just, I'm gonna, <laughs> God, God, God. Curb stomp it a couple times. Um, okay, absolutely. Say, a couple, okay. like, quick, like, hits of your foot, and you can immediately, like, bend in, like, the aluminum arms that are in places and rip out a few of the wires. You feel like you've probably damaged it quite a bit. Cool. Seth, um, why are you breaking that? 
my flip-flops are still tight. Um, this is a uh, recapture machine that they use for poaching Pokemon and stealing them from trainers unregulated. So it's not good that this is here. I mean, obviously all of this is good that it's here, uh, but I don't want this to exist and even in a half assembled stat status. I RKO the machine. <laughs> <laughs> we do that. What's that JoJo meme where it's like the person sipping the wine and they start kicking something too? Yeah, <laughs> you fully just oh, and you can hear like Gavin across the hallway. You don't see the door open, but you hear dum, 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 as like some machine being bent in and destroyed. So that's your answer as you're like, are they coming back? <laughs> well, they seem to have discovered an, a machine that has made them very angry. I. <laughs> Um, oh, speaking of which, you actually just did make a loud noise. Let me roll for some stuff, oh, but keep going. Uh, well, ah. Uh. <laughs> um, uh, Corinne it. looks at Seth and is like, uh, uh, we just let, do you hear that? Yeah, I think that was us. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> okay. What the hell um, do we do now? <laughs> well, uh, I'll just stomp the machine two more times and say, we should go <laughs> out this, uh, hallway and try to make our way to the emergency release. Was that what we had saw? Uh, the emergency release you had already triggered for the generator. Are you talking about the the Pokemon storage room, the jail? What what are you referring to? Um, all of it, I guess. The jail. We want to. I guess we have to circle back to check that too. Um, but I would want to release the Pokemon that are. Okay, that would be the Pokemon held. storage room is where you would need to make your way to. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's going to be out of this hallway uh, here, pointing out where the cables are coming out of. Um, so we can try and make it that way. Um, did that? Should we check on the others before we go, or what do you think? Probably at least to let them know what we did. Um, maybe we can go ahead and grab them and make our way to the Pokemon storage room to see if we can release them. That seems good. Are there any additional lab coats? Uh, in this lab? No, there are no additional lab coats. Okay. Is there uh, give you like, a chance, but there was no choice. Is there like? A rocket hat somewhere, or a oh, there's definitely like a discarded cap somewhere that you like could like put on if you wanted. 100. percent I throw up in my mouth and I put it on my head. Yeah, just getting past the acrid taste, you immediately like shove the cap on. <clears throat> um, Gavin, as you're kind of like looking at the door and you're and you're kind of like waiting and watching for your friends, you hear like a scrambling noise behind you. Um, glancing behind you, kind of like that, like oh shit somebody's entering the room, you see that the door that you had left open to that maintenance hallway uh, is kind of like swinging wildly as you see the edge of some red hair disappearing around the corner. Looking back, Vermillion is no longer in the library. What are you? Uh, <laughs> they took their own agency. You took too long to answer them. Good. To, uh, um, so they're going to okay. safety, I get the impression. They look like, yeah, they're heading to the to the entrance you had come in previously. All right, so Corinne, when we open this door, walk like you have a sense of urgency, follow behind me, uh, grab that clipboard, and we'll just be landed across the room. Got it. Okay. Go. Shit. All right, ready. Uh, and we start walking. <laughs> you guys open the door out to the hallway and go to walk. And if get me correctly, you're going in the main hallway that's heads towards the breeding chamber? I was. I thought we were going to check back on... Uh, oh, okay. Okay, that's why I'm asking. You're going through that yeah. hallway. We were going back to going the Oh, yes, you're library. right. Okay, okay. Um, Cause we're in lab A, correct? Yes. Yeah, you are in lab A, so you're right across the way. So you're gonna you're gonna just go back. Okay. Yes, so same. you open the door. As you go through, can I please get a stealth check from both of you? Even though you're trying to like have that alibi esque, I want to make sure that whether or not you're being spotted by the people. We get any type of advantage with our hat clipboard jacket combo. No, this is to not be noticed at the moment. Those will come in later if you are noticed. I got a four. <laughs> I got a three. Okay, I needed combine for you guys to make a ten. So oh, shit. real quick before we get to the consequences of that roll. Gavin, Vermillion has just run out of the room. What are you doing at this moment? Yeah, but I'm going to grab the fire extinguisher and okay. I am. Gonna... <sighs> and I'm going to sneak out, holding it like a bat with all you sneak the four out, of you my strength. There is immediately a person in a rocket hat less than five feet I'm from your face. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll me. Roll me your strength, die. Corinne. <laughs> I need you. What was the equivalent of the defense dice? My brain is lost. Fortitude. 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 Roll me fortitude die. Oh, 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 honey. Oh, you, you, you can't. You can't beat me. You can't do better than this. Technically, it's a, it's a two. Okay. So at that moment, there is the moment Corinne 
where you just see fire extinguisher in your face. What does it look like as you <laughs> stop it from hitting you in some way? Perfect I feel block. like Corinne, Corinne doesn't even see Gavin, just sees red flying at her face and, and just goes, ah! and like grabs the whole thing, but like continues the motion and like rips it out of Gavin's hands. Disarm. And is just like, is just like holding it underneath her arm. And it's just like, what the hell? Why are you wearing that hat? For, okay, well, aren't we in a rocket facility right now? Can we go in a room if we're gonna talk? I mean so, <laughs> as you guys are having this argument, we now get to the consequences of Seth and Corinne's low stealth roll. Do no, get no, hit no. by the fire. As <laughs> the <laughs> three of you are, I gotta roll for how bad this is gonna be, because there are several people who could run into you at this moment. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Seth, as you <laughs> turn around very quietly going, guys, we're talking in the hallway. As you turn around, it is in that moment that you hear a footsteps running by in the wet hallways and they make it to the end of the alleyway right as you're turning to go back to the lab and the other two are loudly arguing in the hallway. Mm -hmm. Your and Corinne's earlier stealth checks coming to bite you in the ass has to say, because as you're walking, you hear, hey, hey, who are you? From down the hallway. Um, fire extinguisher. <laughs> Shut you're not hidden. You're in open <laughs> sight hallway, right now is all I'm saying. Fire extinguisher from a hallway. Uh, yeah, Corinne, I see your hand. <laughs> No, no, no. I would, I'm just like, wait, like. You're waving? What's up? So I want to clarify uh, to you. <laughs> you are, other than in the hat, not in the rocket uniform. You are wearing a crop top, a crop top cargo pants, and like hiking boots. And what you're part also of that like. Is not the rocket uniform. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. All three of you are currently in sight of this as this person, maybe like mid twenties, like kind of like uh, darker hair. You can't tell the color right now. Uh, full rocket regalia, uh, the big blue R on their chest, coming around the corner. Hey, I asked you a question. Who are you? One of the new researchers, Professor Coral. Someone turned off the Electivire's security switches, and we're going back to activate them again. Why aren't you running there? Roll me. It wrecked some bullshit. Yeah, I've been working on this for a week. Yeah, I no, am proud no. of that. <laughs> Can I just step backwards into the library? Yeah, go ahead and roll me bluff. Bluff? Go ahead thing? and roll me bluff. Let me roll, roll bluff. Mm, can I get advantage of my cool coat? I'm going to say from the confidence with which you said it, I will grant you an advantage. Roll an additional d4. Let's, Let's go. Okay. Please be a six. Please be a six. What was the four? I hate, I hate roll dice. Roll the d4. That's five. I rolled five. a one and then a three on the d4. <laughs> you do see in that moment, he goes, Professor Cool. And then he goes, Wait, but who are they? <laughs> and he just Dang like it. you see him starting to unclasp a pokeball off of his belt. Can I throw the extinguisher squarely at his head? Absolutely, you can do that. <laughs> I'm gonna have you roll uh, your strength. You know what? Just roll me full athletics. Add all of your bonuses to it. Yes. <laughs> and, oh, and all of your okay. bonuses. Corinne's gonna oh kill God, you. Know why? <laughs> because you're throwing it at the same time that two people yell for Ava. That's gonna distract him enough. I'll grant you an advantage on top of that. Stop! You were, You're okay, gonna murder okay, this okay, person. Okay. You're gonna kill this guy. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Hang on. That's a <laughs> lot of shit. Extinguish okay. his I gotta life. roll his fortitude die. I roll. Let me roll his d6 fortitude real quick. Ah! So, Curran, as he goes, "Hey, I'm talking to you," and Gavin goes to unclip Ava, you hear the clicking of the ball expanding, and in that moment, you <laughs> throw. What does that? What does that look like as it hits Let's him? See a fire extinguisher so, spiral like a piston. <laughs> So I like I had I had the fire extinguisher like under my arm, so I just take the nozzle and I kind of like bartender flare it over my head and just fling. Whoa! <laughs> it's just kung. cocktail coming up. Yeah, it foo, 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 dung, and Beams you can him. hear the reverberation for like Ooh. really loud where you're at, and you can see him do the thing where he like is standing still for just a second and then just ragdoll backwards into the like canal running through the center of the hallway. Oh, he's <laughs> dead. Into he's the dead. Ocean. Um, start... I'm gonna warn you all right now, that was a very visible and very audible thing to anybody who was in the breeding gotta chamber. Go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta oh, go. Oh, he's gotta very go. dead. He's Wait, very follow dead. Me, follow me, follow okay. me. <laughs> in, in, the, in the like moment, cause you know how like momentarily it's gonna be really quiet after some shit like that goes down. In the yep. split seconds where it's like dead silent, do I hear anybody reacting to that that's not us? Um, go ahead and roll me a, a spot hidden check. Go ahead and just roll spot mm -hmm. hidden check. Or tracking, I'll let you use either one. Okay, okay, I'll use the tracking because I can use education for that. Um, five. Five, the sound of water, the alarm still in the background, you have no idea. Can I shout from this area, um, like uh, 
something to the sort. I'm using the like, like a uh, honking noise, like noise of the sound to help like falsify what I'm saying in my sentence. So like names and stuff don't really come out properly, okay. but I'm just going to try and get the point across of like, Oh, that idiot fell into the water. Like just so that they can hopefully hear someone fell into the water, but they don't know okay. who specifically because the name was drowned out by the sound of the siren and whatnot. <laughs> And make it seem like it's their fault that they fell. I will let you yell that. That is yelled. There are no checks associated with that. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. <laughs> so you said, follow me, follow me, follow me. Where are you trying to lead people to, Seth? Uh, lab A, uh, emergency to the hallway. maintenance hatch? Yeah, okay. maintenance hatch um, to E4. To checkmate. E4. To okay. E4 checkmate. Okay. Um, so yeah, to you E5. guys... Sprint Not through you. the Not sprint you. through the the lab, and Gavin, this is your first time actually seeing into the lab. Yeah. And it's at that moment where you pass a computer that has a big, like outline of an electivire with a release above it that is said, and you also pass the remnants of a machine that has been RKO'd and kicked and shattered. That was in fact you guys. <laughs> um, and as you're running through, you eventually get to the hatch where Seth, you pull it all the way open and lead them into the maintenance tunnel, and it's near identical to the one you were in earlier with Vermilion. Um, where are you guys trying to outlet? Are you trying to go out into the breeding chamber? Are you trying to go into one of the other rooms that's there? Where are you going? Um, it would be out to the breeding chamber, cutting quickly into the executive office if we can. Or the Pokemon okay. breeding. Facility. Okay. So as you reach that um, that exit uh, that exit panel, can someone roll me a D12? I'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Three. Three. Okay. So as you roll, uh, uh, with that roll, thankfully, as you, like, start to push open the panel trying to check, there doesn't seem to be anyone immediately in front of the panel. Um, the way that it opens outward, you can actually see into the majority of the breeding chamber, and this is your first time getting a proper view into it. You've always been at the end of the hallway from it. Where you're at now, you can see this large, almost like Olympic-sized swimming pool with these, like, metal support beams all up and around it, this, like, sunken... Um, it almost looks like hatch at the very bottom of it. And in it, you see glimmers of red and gold Pokemon, Magikarp, swimming around. They seem distressed in some way, probably due to the mm. the sounds and lights. Um, but at the edge of the breeding chamber, directly across from you, you can see about five or six rockets who are all grouped up at the end, looking down the hallway at the end. I'm going to roll for those rockets real quick. Uh, Karen, do you have another fire extinguisher? <laughs> no. <laughs> just from afar. Do, 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 just knocks off. <laughs> All but one of them are fully hit as you hear a <laughs> clap of lightning and thunder come down that hallway. And you see a singular bolt of white and blue lightning <laughs> tear oh, through no each of them, hitting each of them for three major wounds at least, except for <gasps> one. Uh, and blowing the side as bottom you, corner um this is uh, we're talking about the we're talking about the bottom left corner the southwest most corner of the breeding chamber yeah, closest to, generator. to the generator gotcha. you are oh, seeing these individuals getting boom, blown back several of them land in the uh in the breeding chamber itself like face up or face down <laughs> in the pool um <gasps> one of them who is one of them who like did did not take the full brunt you see he immediately like holds back into a corner and he's like holding the side of his outfit, which is just starting to like melt from the heat. Um, and you hear, <laughs> fuck no, fuck no, <laughs> um, hell no. <laughs> can you go ahead and roll me a tracking check real quick, Seth? Yeah. With an advantage because your friends are, are obviously <laughs> helping you keep an ear out for things. That's what death is. Oh my God. Like. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, tracking, ooh, cool. Uh, 17. 17. With a 17, you have just the right peace of mind as you hear footsteps to close the door. As someone was just coming around to the corner that would have been right in front of your panel, you have the peace of mind to be able to close the door very quickly. Uh, uh, Gavin, I see him. That's Azure. That's Azure. After that horrifying uh, business with the Electrovire, I take the hat off of Corinne's head and I throw it into the water. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 100%. Uh, and in that moment, you do hear now what Seth is saying as Seth has pulled the door closed. Seth, repeat that. Uh, that is the executive of the facility. That's Azure. Outside. Now? 
Yeah, that's him. That's him. Because we sent him you... to the room, and there was a lot of noise. Now he's coming back because we had to hit that guy with the fire extinguisher. And I yelled. So, yeah. Just... As you're Turning talking, <laughs> you can hear the of like calm, careful footsteps, and then the clicking of a Pokeball expanding. Mm-mm, oh, mm-mm, shoot. Mm-mm. Okay. Right outside the chamber that you're currently in. Right. You have to get out of here. Okay. Like right outside. It seems like this battle will probably be taking place in the actual breeding center. Okay, so we're going to back it up and we're going to go up. into uh, the hallway that is, if we're walking down this hallway from like our backs to that yeah, door, 100%. it's going to be to our uh, right. Uh, okay. First the, door and it's the first door the, that you run into? Yeah. First yeah, door coming you up on the right. Go and you pop that panel and you can now hear Veralicator. <gasps> Lowly <laughs> on the other side of that door. The only thing separating you guys may be two inches of steel between the fight that's about to take place. <laughs> um, but you guys go through the other maintenance panel leading into a dark room. But as you kind of like step down, the emergency lights are flashing and you can see now this is a bedroom of some kind. This is obviously some sort of quarters for one of the rockets. Okay. Um, uh, can I do a quick scan as we're moving out through this door to see if they happen to be anyone that is a part of the maintenance team or crew in any such way? Okay. Um, go ahead and... Roll me a spot hidden check. Okay. It is going to be a very high difficulty because cool. of the urgency with which you're doing it, the lights being crazy, everything, adrenaline being pumping. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want someone to come and help you, someone to come and make their own role to assist you, that would probably be the best if you want to say that to one of your friends. Uh, Gavin, help me look for a badge so we can figure out if anyone here worked in maintenance. Okay. Okay. Spot hidden. Gavin, also, yeah, also roll me a spot hidden. I will add your two together against the difficulty of this role. Corinne's eyes are glued to where they came from, just watching to see if anybody comes and is like on a hairpin trigger to act. Okay, you're keeping your eye at the maintenance tunnel, especially down the hall at that hatch. Um, Mm -hmm. Okay, what was the spot hidden rolls for the two of you? 15. One. One total? Oh, two. So two because of your badge. Oh, 16 with my badge. So 18 between the two of you. Um, Seth, as you start like pulling open the desk and looking through things, it's actually Gavin who glances up at the wall where there's a hook with a lanyard on it. Um, it says the team of this person and it says Pokemon research, not engineering. Hey, I, well, like, Seth called me to help. So I'm like, hey, Seth, is this, this is, is this what you need? <laughs> uh, no, but uh, whatever. <laughs> I'll just put it in my neck and then go. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, oh, we're going to go out. Before so before you can go out, Corinne, okay. you are keeping your eyes on the door and you see as the panel and the surrounding wall is struck by some sort of attack and it entirely just begins to buckle inward and you can see the edges of the metal glowing red hot. Uh, Some attack has just struck the wall that you're currently, that is, that panel goes through. That panel, probably not passable anymore. Time to go, time to go, time to go, time to go. we came in from? The one one at the very end that you peeked out to the breeding chamber through. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Running. <laughs> so we're going to shoot out this door. And what I'd like to do is continue down this hallway and hit the first uh, right. Uh, so not in the hallway right, but like going okay. straight. The, the large room with its own adjoining bathroom? That one, yes. Yes, okay. Ooh, so uh, as the three of you burst out of this door now, you can actually hear the sounds of the battle no longer muffled by the doors having been closed. As it echoes down the hallway, you hear... Relegator! down the edge of the hallway um it sounds like some epic battle is going on down there the those of them. you who had been guessing about it earlier you had stated it's only a matter of time before someone who has its pokeball appears you have to remember for certain pokemon it is very easy to escape or reject being put into their pokeballs it's not as easy as walking up and throwing its ball at it some Pokemon you have to defeat first. So, uh, as uh, as you guys head down, you are headed towards the large the large bedroom. Um, it's very easy. It's actually unlocked as you get there. In fact, okay. actually, I punch him. The door <laughs> is <laughs> the door Granted. is actually slightly open. Um, yeah, we're I'm gonna uh, have Karen walk in. There. <laughs> do you do you point out that the door yeah, is open? Yeah, yeah. I put, I'm gonna be like, hold up. And then I'll point to the door being open, and then I'll just slide you in front of me <laughs> to go in front. Brilliant. I quietly open the door looking for a person. Do that like a... Okay. Uh, Henry Cavill, walking... I'll reload your arms real quick. 
uh, walking into this room, it is very clear that someone was just recently in the room. The the kind of like tile and carpet that's on the floor uh, has wet boot prints all across it. Somebody who's, who was recently walking through the hallways. This room is also much nicer than every other room that you have been in in this facility. Um, it doesn't take a lot to connect. This is probably the executive Azure's room. room. Oh, <laughs> he's got a clawfoot tub in um, here. What the heck? I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody. Immediately, you don't see anyone. No. I, okay, I, cool. I give the other people the wave in. And as Seth walks in, um, I'm going to slightly close the door behind us. I'm not going to close it all the way because it wasn't all the way closed when we walked in here. Okay. Just keep it um, audio. But I'm going to look at Seth and I'm going to be like, um, what are the cha- as we're like walking, what are the chances of a Feraligator winning against an Electrovire? Like, what do you think? Uh, sl- um, slim, but I don't know. He could learn some moves that might help, but probably it won't be easy, I'm sure, as we can hear. Um, okay, okay. This is Azure's room, my guy. It's going to get, is there a, is there a laptop in here? You would recall, uh, the the two of you who remember would recall that that was in his office. Yeah. Okay. However, yeah. there is in fact a laptop in this room. Ah! It is, is there. It... it is sitting on the desk out in the corner. Is it locked? You have to open Go it up. Look. Yeah, I'm, I'm opening it up. Is it open to a open it up? It is in fact locked. Okay, I'm putting it in my backpack. Good call. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> uh. so, take the laptop and you slide it into the backpack. Um, go ahead. The three of you, each of you individually, give me a spot hidden. I'm going to add them all up just to see what else you can get out of this room for the few seconds that you're in it. As we're walking around looking for stuff, uh, if I pass by Seth again, I'm going to be like, all right, man, um, what, what, where do we go from here? Um, I, I think, and I'm going to pull out the map and just look to see where the maintenance hatch is in the, uh, the rooms. Maintenance hatch uh, is directly behind the toilet. Yes. And I'm going to go like it's here but we don't have a way to get into it unless we can find some like override key or something like i doubt azure left his badge just in his room gavin what was your roll 17 plus one for an 18 seth what was your roll um it's a one unless you let me re-roll because these dice suck <laughs> i'll give it to you go for it cool uh, i'll give it to you so japanese dice uh that's better that's a uh five so six six okay so 18 plus six is gonna be uh 24 uh, and then, Corinne, what was your roll? Three. Three. Okay. <laughs> 27 beats 20. That's what I needed. So is that your rank? Plus. Yeah. Did you remember? Okay. So, uh, <laughs> as you guys are looking around the room, you did already find the laptop, which was one of the major things that was there that was just kind of out. A couple other things that you would find. Um, there is multiple full adult-sized sets of the diapers, Team Rocket sorry. uniform. <laughs> of diapers, yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah, like same thing. <laughs> is a big pee-pee issue at night when you're <laughs> to bed. Um, no, but there are multiple adult Rocket uniforms in the closet here. Um, if any of you want those, there is also, this would have been found, uh, I think, by Gavin, because Gavin had, I think, the largest role when it came to this. Um in the bottom left drawer of the desk, there is a small black cube um, that inside of it, it's kind of like a wire work cube machine that it, it, you recognize this. This is a Pokeball lock that is locked around a red Pokeball. So the Pokemon inside cannot be released until the lock is broken or unlocked. Hmm. Is this what they were building that Smash machine it. for? It is stronger than anything that is in this room at the moment. You're not going to. That's going to probably take some more work to break. Yeah, you need heavy machinery to break that. Going back in the backpack. (laughs) (laughs) The door can't really be broken open for the maintenance hatch, can it? It absolutely can. Oh, it just depends on how loud you want to (laughs) be. Oh, I mean, Ash is distracted, right? Ash has got bigger things on his mind. Yeah, let's. Do we still hear the battle going on? Very much, yes. Yeah, go, 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 go. Okay, I'll try it. Uh, Okay. What are you, you going to try to break in this room? <laughs> um, um, what am I going to try to break it open with? I hand you the uh, indestructible box. <laughs> the luck on the Pokeball. Use that Pokeball. <laughs> Whatever breaks first is good for you guys. I'm actually totally for this. <laughs> That's actually, um, yeah, that sounds I, like, like a good idea. Is it like a hinged thing? Like, can I take the lock and like? There's like the, on one the, of the like, in, there's Bolts. like the inset like hinges, so you can see where the hinge is at, but it's not like an up down. Like it's flush with the wall. Okay, um, I'll just try to force where whatever. It's not a turn wheel, right? It's like a no, door. no. From this perspective, it's basically all flat with the wall. 
What are you going to try and do? It means it swings in. No, it's, yeah, it Good. swings towards you guys. It swings, swings outward out. towards It swings you. towards us. Because it's oh, flat on you guys and it goes outward. Yeah. Yeah. Is there flush. like a keyhole or is it like a bad Yeah, there's stand? a keyhole. If it's flush with the wall, it would swing away from us. No. no. If it's oh, flush what? with the wall, it's it opens into... out towards us. Yeah. What are you talking it's about? It's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, I'll draw so it for you later. Can Is it possible for me to stick the Pokeball lock like... Like on the kind keyhole, of, and just like, like start banging it, and just like j like I'm trying to like break either break the lock off or like jam it so far into the keyhole oh, that it like oh this is so it. high difficulty but sure why not fuck it if your DM doesn't say sure why not I don't know why they're even being a game master okay 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 worst okay. case scenario you can just kick it so there's that that's very true I'll go ahead Those and try it will um, destroy am I I'm just rolling uh strength yep okay. Well, this, this would be athletics, I think. This would be definitely be athletics. That's strength and fortitude. Um, So, uh, 19. 19. Let me roll for both the lock and the box, both of which have d20. Shout out to me not rolling anything above, like, a 10. <laughs> Bro. I feel like I need to take a photo of this. They rolled double fives between both of them. Damn. Let's go. So, at that moment, you hear a... Tink! As metal shatters, as both the lock mechanism and the Pokeball lock shatter at the same time with that action, as you tuff, Hulk out, busting it open. Yep. I kind of. I, 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 I'm okay here. <laughs> like, I hand you the Pokeball reluctantly. Priorities, um, guys. Priorities. You say that, and I'm like, shit. And I like pull the door open, and I'm like, go, 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 go. You pull the door open and you find yourself once again in a maintenance hatch. At the very end, you see another tall doorway, like the one that led out to the cave uh, that you originally came in, but it also curves off to the side. Okay, we're going to be going uh, this way and I'll lead towards the side curve that's going to lead us towards the Pokemon storage room. Okay, you um, you pull out through the side and you start to walk. You get to the latch. Um, it easily enough unlatches just like all the others and you can poof, swing it open. Mm -hmm. Immediately, bright white light streams through the... Um, the, the hatch. Unlike the rest of the facility, on emergency power, the Pokemon storage room retains all of its facilities. So as you look out, it is still very brightly lit. Everything kind of hums with energy as you find yourself in a large, like, octagon room with shelves probably 10 to 12 high, half of them full of Pokeballs. Oh hmm. my god. Um... Can, can we just state that if we go through any doors, Corinne closes them behind them, okay, behind the group? 100%. Okay. <laughs> uh, it will be hard to close the one that you busted the lock. As all the best others, as I yeah. can. <laughs> if we close this one, we won't be able to get back into that service hatch without That's breaking true. it. That's true. Yeah, let's we'll leave this one open because we can. this is our escape okay. if we need to. Um, sure. Okay, but I'm going to hop in this room. Uh, does it seem like anyone's in this room with us? No, you can see the entire room. There is no one else in the room. How many Pokemon do we uh, figure are in here? Uh, doing the math, and tall, each one holds 12. Here, I'll do the... Damn. In their small forms? In their small forms. Okay. Eight, and then divide by two, because about half of them. There's about four to 500 Pokeballs in this room. Okay, that's heavy. Cool. Um, okay, no way and is there a... Uh, there's not any type of... There's Russian... a... Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Do you want me to tell you everything that's in the room? For, I'm gonna ask this question first. Okay. Uh, well, actually, yeah, go ahead. You, you, okay. you do your thing. Explain. So, what's in the room. also, that is within this room, there is a healing cradle, there is two of those rolly carts, um, and there is a desk. A desk. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go look at the desk, um, if I can, and I'm gonna see what, if there's a technology there. Yeah, there is. There's apps. It uses the same system as all of the other ones in this building. Is it unlocked or? Yes. Open? The laptop that you found earlier was not using the UI of everything else in this building. It seems like that's probably a personal device not connected to the overall main building. Hmm, okay. <laughs> All right. And so uh, we're going to look at this computer. I'm going to look to see, similar to how uh, Corinne looked for like a release or patch option like that, I'm going to see if there's anything that is similar to that for this room. Like um, a... The best that you can find is there is a uh, sort of living inventory of all of the different Pokemon in the Pokeballs that are currently on the shelves. Um, something that will save you a lot of time. Of Filter. the Pokeballs that are on the shelf, only about half of them are actually full. Oh, okay. Interesting. That brings you down to about two to 300 Pokeballs. Okay. Um, is there a way to 
effectively because in their small form, how, how large are Pokeballs? Like, are they uh, like size of this rock or maybe size of fifty cent piece? Yeah, that that'd be okay. about right. Gotcha. Um, okay, I'm going to. This is going to look really bad for us if we just have a sack full of Pokeballs. Um, is it? But if we turn them in, yeah. Well, if we, we want to release them, they're not. I don't know if they're. Are they? They're stolen. Well, the breeded Pokemon are the stolen Pokemon. Is what I'm trying to determine, I guess. Um, Gavin, as you're kind of glancing over Seth's shoulder at the at the inventory, um, you okay. would see because you were the one who would who did the conversation. You're the one who talked to these people. You would see several of the Pallet Town Pokemon that you had heard about among the inventory here. It seems like the most recent raids, a lot of those Pokemon ended up here. Is there a Mankey? There's absolutely several Mankey. Uh, Are you looking with, with, with for one with a specific trainer ID? I mean, they're all important, but I do want to know if if uh, Williams is here. <laughs> yes. William, so you would yes. know his, his trainer ID. Yeah. Yes, like I want to know if Williams is here. Yes, you'd be able to find Williams Mankey very quickly. <gasps> I'm taking okay. Williams and I'm putting it in my pocket. I, we're, we're taking everything, but... <laughs> that one's going to stay in the pocket. Okay. Um, so, let's... Yeah, Seth, that clears it for you. These are all the stolen Pokemon from... Okay, from I didn't know if they were like, what was breeded storage mm -hmm. here, but okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, I'm going to try and see if we can store as much of those as we can, or like um, uh, pack them up if we have like those carts or like little trays that we can like stack them into and then put that into like any type of bag or um, chest or something that we can use with to... With filling each of your backpacks, there would still be about 100 Pokemon left. You could fit all of those onto one of the wheelie carts. Will the wheelie cart go into the service tunnel? It would not. Is there another bag in the room? I was gonna say, is there like a big duffel or like that's you know, what I was those thinking? Really like the Pokemon big, like raw burlap string bags. things. Not the big in this room. If you, wanted, it all if the you time. wanted to go back and search people's bedrooms, maybe, but definitely not in this facility. Ooh, that gives me an idea. Um, uh, Corinne, you're the fastest of us all. Can you go grab a fitted sheet from that bedroom? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Corinne, okay. do you do it? Uh, yeah, I run back in there and I I rip the sheet. There's no okay. point in closing that door. I rip the sheets off the bed. <laughs> um. Okay, you rip the, the fitted sheet off. It takes more than a few seconds. Um. As Corinne is gone, however, you all hear something other than the alarm or the battle. You hear, so it's the <laughs> of the emergency sirens still going off. Meltdown protocol initiated. Meltdown protocol initiated. Meltdown protocol initiated. What's a meltdown protocol? Initiated. Meltdown protocol? Evacuate. Meltdown protocol. Evacuate. Evacuate. What's the show no? And that uh, starts to play in the background with the <laughs> of the siren. Nolan is still in the building. <laughs> Just letting you all know. You don't know what that means. None of you are familiar with the meltdown protocol. However, at that point, the lights <laughs> properly go off, including the emergency lights. Oh my gosh. Okay. So okay, Corinne, okay. you managed to find your way back to the, the tunnel, kind of moving. Um <laughs> you, you pull out the flashlight on the back yeah. of your poke gear, which is not as good as the boom flashlight. Not enough. <laughs> um eventually you find your way into the locked room with everyone else, and it is eerily quiet, even though you can still still hear the battle going on in the distance. Without the lights and alarms going off, there is not a lot of noise. So the, the large meltdown protocol went out too? Yeah, all of that went off at the exact same time. Oh, those and the are done. So it's dead. Okay. Do you so all we know is, well, wait, would meltdown protocol even happen if power is out? Well, we don't know what meltdown protocol is. I don't know what like, meltdown hey, protocol is. The power got melted, but we're done. Do you know where um, they might be holding Nolan? You seem to know your way around this place. Yeah, we have a map. Uh, he has a map. Jail, oh, we found, found a map. <laughs> you were there. Anyway, um, yes. So uh, I'm going to have... Uh, in, hold open the bag while I put as many of these Pokemon the in sheet. there. Uh, yeah, into the fitted sheet. Um, and then uh, see if we can just cinch it closed and just Okay, look that's like easy enough done. That's going to take a couple seconds. I cinch it and I, I like loop my arm through the knot and I have it okay, on Okay, you're bag. the one holding the bag. Okay. Are we putting all the Pokemon in there or just the extra hundred? I think just the extra hundred because at this just point you've already loaded up your backpacks. Yeah, cool. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So I think our plan should be we go back out of the service tunnel. Close this door so it doesn't look like anyone's been in here. Obviously, they'll know. But if we can go outside <laughs> and store these Pokemon somewhere safe on ground, above ground, then we can go over to where the jail would be on the other side, outside of the, the actual facility, and enter in from that service tunnel. And hopefully, we can get 
Nolan out of the jail if he's still if he's still there, maybe. Duh. You want to go back up into the storm? I, there's no other option that we have. I don't think it's safe to go through these hallways, especially with it being this quiet. We have to move quickly, so at least let's have this conversation in the service hallway. <sighs> the battle's still going on in the background. We gotta go, we gotta go. Knowing okay, what okay, I know okay, about okay. the layout of the building, do I think mm -hmm. I could make my way to the jail without going through the uh, breeding facility? Yes, uh, you at this point have all opened up the hatches to the point where you could make it back, assuming that we didn't close the hatches behind you. Um, if you did properly close every hatch that you went through behind you, then you would run into a sticking point somewhere around the labs, their maintenance hatch. I mean, I would have said if we close the hatches, then we can't get through the hatches. So I would personally have said we left them open. Are hatches but different than doors? Because I only said that I was closing all the doors. <laughs> Hell yeah. There we go. Then all the hatches were left open. <laughs> okay. okay. I can't wait for whoever's I editing this to determine... If that's true, true or if that's what was said. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, you did. Okay. Listen, guys. I get get the Pokemon out. I give you my backpack. I'm okay. and I give you I give you William's Mankey. I'm gonna okay. go and get Nolan. By yourself? That doesn't I, make any sense. Yeah, because the whole place might explode by the time we get around. You know, meltdown protocol wouldn't necessarily dictate an explosion, but I get what you mean. So yes, go for it. Do which one. Whatever is going to happen that's going to wipe this place off the map so there's no evidence when the authorities come. I would think, if anything, Meltdown Protocol would be be sinking. I'm going. Oh. I'm leaving. <laughs> wait, wait, Gavin, where the hell is Vermilion? <laughs> they went out back the way they came. In, we came in. Which is out in the storm. Which is where I'm going. I'm so scared you guys are going to run into rockets. Uh, if it happens, it happens. I've got, I've got Ava in one hand and I've got Queenie in the other and I'm just running. <laughs> and you're just running? <laughs> uh, you're going Gavin. through the building? Gavin's going back the exact route that you guys just came to get here is what okay. Gavin's headed to. So Gavin's okay. going to the original entrance because the maintenance tunnel there is the one that's closest to the jail cell. Are you two still headed back out into the storm? I think that's, I don't know, Corinne. What do you think? I f uh, listen, this place is batshit fucking crazy and I feel really, really scared that he's going to run into rockets by himself. And then I we'll follow him <sighs> and we'll just run to run after him. I just told you to go. <laughs> okay. So, um, the, you two, you can see the door that leads to freedom from where you are standing, and you turn back to run after your friend. Gavin, you are doo -doo 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 -doo, feet on the ground. You are not aware they have made this decision at this point. Your heart is thrumming in your ears. Um, as you make it to that point where you have to exit the hallway, because um, you leave out of Azure's be uh, bedroom, you eventually reach one of those like large hallways with the large canals that leads to the center breeding chamber. And you can see now there's this, or you can hear now because you're having to like operate just off the light of your poke etch at the moment. That's all you have. Mm -hmm. Other than down the hallway, you can still hear eradicate you. Electrifer! Just like still fighting. You can hear still and occasionally see flashes of light of lightning going off. But as you are there, you also hear the sound of letting the place of water rushing in the pumps that were pumping and keeping water out of the place now off as well as part of meltdown protocol no energy keeping them operating as the place is slowly beginning to flood it's already about two inches of water standing water in the hallways um as you start to run through them so you push out of that hallway it is easy enough to get across this first hallway because the flooding hasn't gotten that bad yet you go back through the bedroom up to the maintenance tunnel pushing past that back to lab A as you get to the hallway that's outside of lab A. However, this is where I need an athletics check for you to get across as it's getting to about 18 inches of water at this point. Athletics, um, okay, that's water. not too bad. I am also going to need, flashing back to Corinne and Seth, as you guys hit the first hallway, the little bit of hesitation putting you behind, I also need athletics checks from you guys for you to cross this hallway. With an explosion, that's a 16. Okay, the two of you, by the way, add yours together because you're working together to cross this hallway. Okay, I was literally about to ask you. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, question. Uh, yes. With athletics, it has strength slash fortitude. 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 Oh, it says F-A-T on the thing. That's why I was like, what's that? No, it's, F it's F R T. But I, I actually complained about this early on. The the font like that we use makes the R looks like, looks like an, <laughs> yeah. an A. Okay. Yeah, that's why I, I, least, I so. actually... Use FTD in, now. I should. Yeah, in later that. versions, it got changed. So you're using one of the earlier sheets. How? How? No, Matt. How? Matt. No. <laughs> I didn't. 
That's a Using two. different dice. Okay. Yeah, I rolled a, I rolled a nine on my D twenty. Okay. Okay. With Corinne shouldering the majority of the burden, <laughs> you guys can get through the weaker of the two hallways um, as you as you start to push. I posit through. a question. Yes. With us noticing it flooding, should we hesitate in the room and turn back, or should we keep pushing? That's up to you guys. That is fully up to you. It's up to Corinne, you. Corinne, I don't know if we'll be able to make it with all this Pokemon in this weight, and I know you're strong, but I'm not Barry. And I have to carry two backpacks, and I can only barely carry one. All right, same question to you earlier. What do you think are the odds that Gavin's going to make it by himself? He's made it a lot faster, uh, than, or further than we can go carrying all this stuff. And at least if we can go above ground, we can go to where Vermilion is and meet up with them. And that at least is us together. And we can go back in through that entrance if we need to. And that's going to be a lot closer. We don't have hallways and twists and turns and water we have to trudge through. We'll be above on rocks. Okay. The sooner you we make see, a decision, the sooner it's not gonna flood as quickly. Like the, the so, like you see the struggle in Corinne's face of her being like my friend, my other We're friend, survival, death. And, <laughs> uh, Corinne is like- I promise we'll get Gavin. Fuck, fine, fine, fine. Okay. And lush, lush, she, lush, lush. she turns around and starts shoving you through the water. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you guys are turning around? Yeah, we're gonna go back okay. into the escape. Corinne, as you push Seth and are holding this bag of Pokeballs back through the river that you've just gone through. It is that thing is as you get to Azure's room, you think Seth probably made the right call. You cannot support both another person and the weight of all of those Pokemon on your shoulders. And it's that thing where even though you're strong, you're not strong enough. And you push through, you finally get to the room, but that is going to be it for the amount that you can exert yourself at the moment. Especially with how sick you were earlier, the minimal break and rest that you got. It's rough. So, Gavin, what was your role for crossing the second hallway? I exploded on my D10 but for a total of 16. 16. Okay. So you get across the second hallway barely. Um, as you feel yourself, immediately it's up to like knee height water as you finish crossing. You push through to the library, crawling up the, the hatch that Vermilion had passed through earlier. Um, as you get to that hallway, uh, you see Vermilion is still standing by the door, waiting for you guys to come out. They're going over the top. Wait for them outside. Where are you going? I've got to get Nolan. You don't have a water type, dumbass. I'm going. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you you yell that uh, and you're going. They're going over the top. Roll some stuff. No, don't, 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 don't. don't, don't you roll could anything. not, don't do you could not roll no. anything. <laughs> okay. So, Gavin, you push through back through that game room that you guys had opened earlier. Um, as your feet touch down, the rooms have also begun to flood, and you're about thigh deep in water at this point. The water is exponentially getting higher and higher. Um, you're going to go open the door to the to the, to the the room to head out to the main hallway? Yes. Okay. As you open that door, the higher level of water from outside pushes back into this room. Make me another uh, athletics check. Eight. Eight. You are taken off your feet by the by the torrent of water, and you feel yourself dung, slam into the back wall. Take two minor wounds for me um, <laughs> as you feel yourself hit the back wall. Um, but after taking those wounds, you eventually find your feet. You're in about waist-deep water as water is still pouring into the room at this point. It's getting to the point where if you don't actively touch your feet down, the water is pulling you off the ground. Mm -hmm. Um... You eventually push out of that main area, getting back to the hallway. Um, you can see now that the large floodgate, the sluice that kind of keeps all the water out with the power gone having fully deactivated, meant to flood the entire facility. Um, and it is starting to just pour salt water. It is filling up faster than you thought. No, you can no longer hear the sounds of battle out in the breeding chamber. Okay. Um, but you push out of that door and you start to swim across. Uh, I need another check to see if you can open the door uh, outwards. The door does open inward, but it's a it, it's gonna be difficult with all the water. Um, that's 12 plus one is 13. 13, okay. So you press open the door and just like when you opened the game room, it <laughs> inwards. Luckily, this room is much bigger than the game room and that gives you a small moment of reprieve from the waist high water as it kind of all spills out. It's maybe knee height at this point, and you do find a jail cell at the very back of this room. 
Uh, you're not, uh, you can see at this point that there is a familiar Captain Nolan, both hands on the bars going, Oh, you're here, my boy. Oh! I need to find a way to open this thing. <laughs> okay, uh, it is dark. Remember, you are just navigating via your po catch at this point. All the lights actually properly off. He goes, the keys, they had them. Did you Did you find them? No, do you know if there's anything in here? I, I've got... I've got a chair maybe I can leverage, but you have to find something for your end. <sighs> and you can see this old man room? is so skinny and shivering. His muscles are weak. Um, looking around, there are facility bits. There are training dummies. What are you trying to grab? There are chairs, tables. What are you getting? Um, I'll get the sturdiest looking like chair I can find, and I'm going to use it as a lever. Okay. The two of you are going to combine your athletics. Difficulty 25. I'm going to roll for him with a, with a penalty because he's weakened. Oh God! I'm not gonna Can I telekinetically he give them advantage? Yeah! No, you, okay. you may not. <laughs> oh my God! I exploded. Okay. 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 So, okay. I've never had that happen. God, uh, that's big sad. We'll 18. get you there someday. Eighteen. So as you go and grab it, and you just you hear as the lock breaks open, uh, as both of you pushing him with this chair and you with your table, uh, bust it open, and the lock snaps. As you turn, there is another wave of water. Uh, make me an athletics check. Uh, nine. Nine. You fail. It sweeps you off directly into that table that you were grabbing. You bang your chin on it. Take another two minor wounds. This, I gotta say though, as much as I did just fail that, um, this D10 is doing work today. Uh. <laughs> um, at that point, you have taken four minor wounds at this point. So one major, one minor. Yep. Um, I'm also going to roll for Nolan. He did not explode this time, and he's still at his penalty. So you see that the door, boom, swings and hits him. He's going to take two minor wounds as well. That's going to add on to the wounds that he already had. Um, not unconscious. So um, with that, he's going to uh, use his muscles, and he's going to try and push out uh, the door. If you help him, he will just automatically succeed. Okay, yep. Okay, you together, boom, push it open. Uh, and he's a much better swimmer than you are. So as he's kind of pushing into the water, he's going to make this without his penalty to get out of the room. You go ahead and roll yours as well. Uh, I, I fly this again? Oh, uh, yeah. Eight. Eight. Two more minor wounds as the water is punishing you right now. You are not sure if you're going to make it out here on your own. Um, but you can see at this point, Nolan has made it to the hallway and is yelling for you, but you can't hear him over the yeah. thrumming of water. I'm, I'm shedding all my heaviest clothes. Okay. Yeah. You can immediately like take off the cotton, like hoodie that you've got going on. You've already given away your backpack. You are a lot lighter now, but it is definitely one of those things where it is going to be difficult to get out of here. Yep. Um, as you are getting ready, um, go ahead and roll me a, a tracking check. I get D20 for this. Um, that is a 20 with 19 okay. plus one. As you are pushing out, you do hear the slightest noise in the back of your mind, just for a hot second, just over the water. Um, and with your 19, you do see when there is a flash of green that bursts into the room, you do see when two insect appendages wrap around your chest and start to try and fly you over the water, you do see as your friend Scyther is trying to get you out of the water at this point, as Gerber has entered the fray Come trying on, to get you Gerber. out. Nolan is going to roll one more time to get through the game room. You are going to roll, and I'm going to roll for Gerber, adding Gerber's to yours. Okay. Oh, shoot. Fell out of my hand. I will say, if you guys fail this, this will be dire for both of you. It's nine. Okay. Gerber rolled, being a plus five Pokemon, Gerber rolled a total of seven. It's going to get us to 16. It's pretty good. So at this moment, you can see that Nolan has disappeared in front of you at this point. Um, the water is getting to the point where it's over shoulder height. Um, Gerber's wings are flapping uselessly in the water. Flight is no longer an option out of here. Uh, but the two of you kicking and pushing and kicking and pushing can get into the game room. The maintenance tunnel itself is now starting to fill up with water because the hatches were open, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, so you push in, Nolan has disappeared. You no longer see where Nolan's at. Um, give me one more athletics check. He went ahead of me, so hopefully he's okay. Come on, man. That is a nine plus one is 10. Okay, and then Gerber's is gonna add eight to that. So it's gonna be 18. The two of you together, poof, 
push up into the maintenance hallways where the water has not yet fully flooded. And you can hear, Cypher, as he's freezing cold. Come on, Gubba, we got this. But you up. Uh, and the two of you are running. At this point, Nolan, you now see him. He is running out the cave. Um, Vermilion, two steps ahead of him. You, both the two of you, uh, Gerber and yourself, running behind them as Gerber, Cypher, is like trying to close the door, but with blade hands, can't really grab a knob. I'll do it. I'll grab it. Okay. <laughs> okay. The two of you together, doof, right as the water starts to sluice out, it helps you carry it and poof. The leakage has stopped for now. And that is where we're going to end today's episode. I could have made it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could have made Not it. Here. Holy shit. So oh my God. That, I'm so glad you made it. <laughs> thank you for joining us. I will pass it to other me to tell you about how to support us. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching this episode of Unbeatable. If you want to support our podcast, please subscribe here and then head over to our Patreon because our patrons get access to early episodes, bonus content, and rules breakdowns for our games. Thank you for sticking around and stay unbeatable. I am unbeatable. I'll train until I meet my goal. Sir, I know I won't fall because I am unbeatable. Earning every badge, whatever it takes, I'm gonna be the best trainer. You just wait, and I know the road ahead looks like it won't be easy. I am unbeatable. Standing by my side, got my friends with me to explore a whole world of possibilities. But no matter what the challenge is, we can overcome it together. Because we are unbeatable, we'll train until we meet our goal. The stakes are high, no we won't fall, because we are unbeatable. We are unbeatable, we'll train until we meet our goal. The stakes are high, no we won't fall, because we are unbeatable.